What is going on guys? Today is going to be an amazing, great, wonderful day. You know why? Because today we're going to be removing some old crap and putting in some nice new EMS boards instead of these old things. These old gang timers with the clocks on the sides and breaking everything ices up. It's not fun working on these things. And little by little they're being removed and just put it into the new EMS systems, whatever is on site, either Neat2 or Danfoss, they're just being cut over. So you can see some of these clocks are old and you have newer tabs and some of them you can see like three shiny new ones but it's not going to be a problem because we're going to be installing these bad boys right here. Two new boards. The cut over to the boards is not going to seem hard. It's only two wires so common and normal close. That's all we're going to be using here. All the way across so we need two boards because it's 11 circuits. You got the 2-8 over there they're going to be removing from the clocks because the boards are 24 volts. So we're going to be hooking up that 208 to this transformer to get out the 24 volts. And today I got the young prodigy with me, Mayhem. He's going to be doing the cut over. He's going to be doing some learning today. So sit back and enjoy the show. Look at Mayhem go. The kid has skills, man. Look at him. His first one knocked it out. Like a pro. Here you have the old ones. 
We're still gonna keep them for parts in case another store that still has these old timers in there. We can use them for spare parts and just uh, replace them if we need to in case of emergency. You always gotta keep old parts like this in handy. Just in case. So everything at the panel is all wired up and ready to go. So what we have to do now is program the boards that we just installed in the E2. So that's what Mayhem's doing right now. Look at him go. Online. They're reading. He added board 3 and 4 for the ROs. So right now, now he has to do the programming for the actual circuits individually into the system. So next time a poor soul comes out here and the technician opens up this uh, door right here. He's gonna be like nice nice indeed I mean everything's back up it's running it's programmed so now it's gonna go defrost correctly now people can program it to whatever they want instead of hitting the timer in with a pencil push it out for defrost in and out so now it's just gonna make life a lot more easier for the technicians that come in after so now with the new boards installed, we can even control temperature. Right now they were just using the timers for defrost, but we can just really just remove the T-stats out of the way, either just bypass it and make it the RO. So just set the E2 from monitor defrost to temp control, and that easily we can just take control of it with the ROs installed now. So for A, C, all of them can be controlled off the ROs now. Look at them all go, all excited, no more ISAP issues. They're all happy now. New ball valves, new boards. It's a good day. If you guys see those old timers, just put in for the new EMS system. You know, Danfoss, E2s, whatever you have out there. Except Contro. I hate Contro. I'm just saying that. But still, good job by Mayhem. We did a great work being his first one and knocked it out of the park, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, leave a like, and uh, thanks for watching.